All right, back for another video. All right, this one will be using TCP view. TCP view. Google that up. It should be the first one or the second one. Let's go to the second one. Let's see what that is. Uh, oh yeah, you can you can see all the different tools that are um, in this called Sys internals. Uh, it is by Microsoft, so don't worry, don't worry, it's good. Download that. Nothing by Microsoft is bad. Everything by Microsoft is just on point, perfect, amazing, never crashes, never fails. If you can't tell, I'm using sarcasm. Um, so you can either run it from here, or I will personally just distract it. There we go. All right, you will need admin rights to do this. I don't see why you wouldn't be an admin. I agree, nobody reads that stuff. And bam, here we go. All right, so there's nothing really happening right now um, on this one. Um, what you can see right now is what you have is you have your processes over here on this side, so your application. You'll have the uh, P pin, pin ID, I think it's called, PID. Uh, don't worry about that at all, really. Uh, you have the protocol, so either TCP or UDP, really. Uh, it's version six. You have your local uh, address, so that is your computer. You have the port, which it runs on. Then you have the remote address. This is really the big one right here. Um, so what address is it connecting to? And then the remote port. And then the state, established, listening, connected, whatever, and sent packets, all that stuff. You don't have to worry about that. The main thing here is the port and the remote address. So right there, that little red one that you just saw, that was a port closing. Um, let's go and Google. All right, watch on the side here. So I'll say I want to do that. So those green ones are ports that are opening up. So new connections that are happening within the application. So we close that out. Let's close this out. Let's close all of this out, actually. So there we go. Those all just disappeared. Um, so the ones that you should not worry about um, are system processes. I mean, you can you can check them if you really want. Um, and then SCV, SVC, sorry, I get that wrong every time, host. Um, all these ones right here are, are I mean, they're, they're, they're fine. They're, they're Windows things. Um, so don't be like looking like, oh, what's that weird remote address? Oh, it must be, must be a virus or something. Let me show you TCP. I'm going to run TCP view from my host machine. Um, there is definitely some more action going on there. So here's TCP from my host machine. Um, I have a whole bunch of things open from TeamViewer, VMware. I have Skype, Spotify. I have Chrome. I have a lot of BitTorrent, a lot of uh, um, from Battle.net, AI Suite. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah none of my actual my actual ip is not on here unfortunately sorry hackers or people that want to ddos me dan slash pc slash sandara.com is definitely not my ip address um so this is this is something to be expected in like a real computer um with a whole bunch of uh 
things opening and closing and not necessarily just you know a f a f like barely a few things if this is very important because you can see applications that won't normally be open so you might see like evil backdoor and it might be connected to you know some weird website or something like that so this is just a good little tool uh, to see what kind of connections are open and for some reason if you can't run this or anything you can always go here go to command open that up type in net stat all one word uh, come on and no active connections let's do net stat dash a which is all so this is more like the tcp view um, but it's not actively refreshing and it doesn't look as nice. You don't have that cute little GUI that you have normally. But this effectively is the same exact thing. You have the protocol, you have the local address, and then you have the foreign address, aka the address it's connecting to, and then what the state is. So thank you. Hope you guys use this tool. Um, it's more effective in the later rounds when they become more technical and it's not basic oh add this user take away this user it's actually more networking and more of a challenge so hopefully you guys find this useful